सो हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट दी एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन अ फ्लैट स्पाइरल स्प्रिंग सो बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस दी बेल आइकन फॉर नोटिफिकेशन सो दैट यू विल गेट दी इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग अपकमिंग वीडियोज सो यू कैन सी दिस इज दी एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप फॉर फ्लैट स्पाइरल स्प्रिंग सो इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डेटरमाइन एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी जी एंड अनोन मास यूजिंग फ्लैट स्पाइरल स्प्रिंग सो एम ऑफ दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू फाइंड आउट एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी एंड ऑल्सो अनोन मास ऑफ गिवन वेट सो अपर्टस हियर वी रिक्वायर फ्लैट स्पाइरल स्प्रिंग वेट्स स्केल स्टॉप वॉच स्टैंड so this is what uh, the scale okay and this is spiral spring and uh, this is the weight pan so to put weights and stand then uh, scale uh, already we have uh, then a stop watch because to note down the number of oscillations you require stop watch <coughs> so here uh, this is the diagram experimental diagram for this experiment Uh, then uh, observations you should note down here acceleration due to gravity g uh, to calculate 4 pi r square into slope into slope 2 okay and uh, unknown mass from the graph you will get the unknown mass uh, from this uh, graph so you can write afterwards so procedure of the experiment i will explain um and uh, the readings that how you can note down here i will also explain and this is the nature of graph for this experiment two graphs you have to plot okay uh, then uh, okay let us uh, start so this is the stopwatch to measure uh, number of oscillations what we have to do here fix one end of the flat spiral spring uh, to the torsion had i note down the reading as of the pointer on the scale without parallel uh, parallax uh, with zero load so just uh, without load you have to uh, measure the reading uh, where the pointer is going to be uh, set so here 18.5 then uh, now attach a load uh, so this is uh, the weight pen it is having about 50 g so i will attach it to the spiral spring uh then note down the reading so here you can see it is 19.5 and then pull the hanger downward and leave it uh makes the oscillation so just uh, you have to little bit pull that uh, downward and just note down the oscillations using a stopwatch for how many oscillations it has to make 20 okay 20 oscillations and calculate the periodic ta uh, time capital t so uh, like that you have to repeat the procedure for another each uh, time you have to increase 50 g okay uh, then uh, you have to uh, repeat the same procedure like you have to note down the 20 oscillations uh, using stopwatch every time after increasing the weight okay so once you note down the uh, readings you just put in them tabular column uh, so 0 50 100 150 like that uh, you have to increase the weight and one more thing you uh, have to also measure the reading for unknown weight so that you will not uh, come to know uh, so once you will complete the graph then you will understand how much is the weight so uh, any five readings you can take five or six so 0 to 250 they have taken unknown weight we will give you you have to calculate uh, then here next thing what you have to do whatever the extension that you have observed that you have to write so zero it has been 18.5 for 50 g you can see it is 19 uh, if it is uh, constant you can clearly note down the reading 19.5 then like that you have to uh, 18.5 19.3 then like that you have to measure the 4 to 5 readings and also so once you uh, load the weight 
just try to measure the number of oscillations uh, for given time uh, so if you start the stopwatch so for 20 oscillations how much time it will take you have to note down so uh, after completion of 20 oscillation just you should stop uh, this stopwatch and measure the reading time you can note down how many seconds it has taken also for unknown weight you have to measure the reading next what you have to do uh, extension how much uh, extension has been taken you have to uh, subtract here a1 minus a1 that is 0 a2 minus a1 a3 minus a1 like that you have to do and you will come to know the extension in the spring then time for 20 oscillation uh, as simultaneously you have to measure the oscillation so 0 0 then 50 gram how many oscillations for 20 second okay no, sorry 20 oscillations how many seconds you have to write 20 oscillations 10 second 100 14 second so like that uh, five readings you can note down and for unknown weight also you have to note down then period uh, time period you can calculate that is t by 20 t is what here 0 10 14 like that t by 20 if you do you will get this uh, time period t so you have to square it t square after squaring you will come uh, come across this column then next what you have to do you have to plot here a graph of extension versus sorry uh, extension versus load okay so here uh, we have uh, this extension okay uh, then uh, versus uh, load you have to plot then next graph what you have to do uh, load versus uh, t square time period you have to plot hmm? so first plot if you uh, first uh, graph if you plot then uh, you will get the uh, unknown weight so unknown weight how much is the extension uh, here 2.8 okay so 2.8 you have to just uh, draw here line then unknown weight you can just uh, if you draw the dotted lines uh, to the x axis 50 it is between 50 and 100 that means the weight is 75 kg so first you have to plot extension versus load then calculate the slope how much slope you will get okay afterwards calculate the unknown weight from this graph itself so how you have, you can do it first go here in this uh, tabular column uh, for unknown weight how, man, how much is the extension 2.8 so 2.8 where it is just you can take that and draw the line you will get the unknown weight next what you have to do you have to plot load versus t square for this uh, plot you will get the slope 2 so what is the formula to calculate uh, gravity here g is equal to 4 g equal to 4 pi square slope 1 into slope 2 so you have to put the values of slope 1 and 2 from graphs then uh, 4 pi square you have to multiply you will get the acceleration due to gravity so in the result finally you can write unknown mass from the given graph they got about point uh, 0 0.072 in terms of kg or uh, 7.2 gram then acceleration due to gravity uh, that must be nine around near to the 9.8 it is 9.25 meter per second square so this is how you can perform this experiment okay i hope uh, this video is helpful for you if this video is helpful please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching